<laughs> Excuse me if I sound sort of odd, but I wasn't sure we'd make it to the time machine mission control. It's impressive, huh? This is Professor Sparks' most important work to date, the time machine extraordinaire. The professor created it so he could witness the invention of anything you can think of. Just go back in time and observe. He would never meddle, not like Polly. When he finds out what she's been up to, I wouldn't be surprised if she's in for some serious time out. Now we need to figure out where we have to go in history to complete this mission. That odd-looking machine will help with that task. It's called the Wheel of Invention, and by using Polly's mission clues, we can figure out which inventor we need to find. The professor tried to ensure that not just anybody could use the time machine. You need to know something about history, science, art, a little bit of everything, really. So click on the wheel and let's get going. We finally made it. This is where we bring everything together and figure out how to find the robot that Polly sent back in time. This is the professor's wheel of invention. It's an obstacle to the time machine. You see, some of the robots kept wanting to travel back in time to taunt the early computers, but you can't have that. So the professor devised a little quiz that's too difficult for the robots. But hopefully, it's not too difficult for you. Oh, brother! Polly's reprogrammed the wheel, so it's no longer just a quiz. It's a quiz show. It seems the show's called Hollywood Squares. You're the first contestant. This is how you play. Answer three questions for each of the clues you collected. You'll find out what, when, where, and who. All the information you need to create a profile of your mission. Once the game begins, you gotta work fast and try to answer each question on the first try. That way, you'll win the time key faster and win the most points. Ready, set, okay. Let's begin. Just click the on button to start. Ladies and gentlemen, kids and robots of all ages, it's time to play Pollywood Squares with your telegenic host, me, Monty Monitor. Answer all the questions correctly, and you'll be sent back in time, all expenses paid, to rescue poor Cosmobot. Your first clue is a pork chop. The pork chop will show you what your mission is all about. I love pork chops, and I'm not the only one. Pork chops can be found in cuisines all around the world. Pork chops come from which farm animals? That's right. Pork chops come from pigs. So does ham and bacon. It's all pork, and it comes from pigs. Pigs are the only animals besides humans whose skin can get what painful condition? You're right. Hey, <laughs> pigs get sunburns just like people. Sunburns are caused by overexposure to the powerful rays of the sun. Our sun is actually a star. It's the center of a group of heavenly bodies known as what? No, you did it! Yay! Another word for sun is solar. That's why they call it the solar system. Aha! Uh -huh. So it seems that Polly sent Cosmobot back to the time in history when the solar system was discovered. But where was that? Your second clue is a postage stamp, and it will tell you where in the world your mission will take you. Postage stamps are a way to pay for sending letters and packages. Before postage stamps were invented, the person who received a letter had to pay for it, not the person who sent it. The postage stamp was first invented by an Englishman named Roland Hill. What country did the English inventor of the postage stamp come from? That's right! Oh, jolly good! English people come from England, and England is part of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Now let's see how good you are at geography. Great Britain is located on which continent? Right! Oh, Great Britain is in Europe, the second smallest continent on Earth. 
What country is located in the very center of the continent of Europe? Correct! Yes! Poland is a large country in the center of Europe. Polish people make delicious pork sausages and dance to a unique style of music called polka. Poland's also the place where the solar system was first discovered. Thanks, Monty. We now know that the solar system was discovered in Poland. What we don't know is when it was discovered and by whom. The third clue is a dollar bill. It will tell you when in history the solar system was discovered. If you had a million dollar bills, you'd be a millionaire. The first kid ever to earn a million dollars was a famous movie star named Shirley Temple. The dollar gets its name from a coin once used in a European country, known for its mountains, castles, beer, and frankfurters. Which country was that? Wunderbar! In Germany, the coin they call the dollar was made out of a precious metal. Precious metals are metals that are not commonly found on Earth. Which of the following metals is a precious metal? That's right! Silver is a valuable precious metal that is often used for making coins. Silver was first used to make the German dollar 500 years ago. Which is the earliest year you could have used a German dollar to buy a Frankfurter? Nope! That's right! In 1531, the silver coin called the dollar could have bought you plenty of German Frankfurters. 1531 also happens to be the year when the solar system was discovered. We're almost there. All we need to find out is the person in Poland who discovered the solar system in 1531. This is your fourth and final clue. The sundial will tell you who first discovered the solar system. A sundial tells the time as a shadow moves across a surface marked with the hours of the day. The Egyptians invented the sundial 5,000 years ago, and it was one of the earliest ways of measuring time. A sundial works due to the movement of what heavenly body? No! Try again! You are correct! Ha <laughs> ha! Even though the sun creates the shadow that moves across a sundial, it's really the earth that's moving, not the sun. While the Earth spins, it also moves around the Sun. What is the Earth's movement around the Sun called? No! A ro- No! Try again! That's right! Ha <laughs> ha! The Earth revolves around the Sun. It takes one year to make one revolution. Who discovered that the Earth revolves around the Sun? Right you are! Copernicus was the Polish astronomer who discovered the solar system in 1531. Before his discovery, people thought that everything revolved around the Earth. Okie dokie, we got all the information we need. Now, on to the time machine. We've got to go to Poland in 1531 before Polly messes up Copernicus' discovery. We certainly don't want the Earth to revolve around Polly any more than it already does. Before we take this trip back in time, can I just tell you how amazing I think you are? That said, grab the time key and let's move out!